Yo, how's it going everybody? Chadley here and in today's video I want to show off a shotgun for you guys that is actually a lot of fun to be using and it actually works very very well in basically everything except for the guardian takedown because those enemies are super super beefy but I just wanted to give you guys some options of weapons you can be using and that's not really the meta right now because me I personally really like to use things that are not super popular and are also just a lot of fun to be using. So the shotgun we're going to be talking about today is the Feebert. Now, this is a shotgun you can get from Wiccan Warty in Lecture City. So if you guys want to get your hands on it, that's where you need to go. But basically, this Hyperion shotgun is like a slug shotgun. It is very, very accurate and overall actually does very well in basically all content except for the Guardian Takedown because those enemies are super, super beefy and it just does not quite have the damage for that. But otherwise, for mobbing in even true Malawan takedown, you guys can actually make very good use out of this, especially if you're playing Flak or Zane right now. Zane, you can actually use this weapon in true Guardian takedown and still be like three tapping things, which is kind of nuts and just shows you the power of Zane at the current moment in time. But otherwise, the Feebert has been a lot of fun for me to be using. Basically, over on our stream, we were messing around with bad weapons on Zane and just seeing how he can make them really, really good right now with this purple tree. So we ended up farming for a Feebert and we were actually very surprised with how well this weapon actually does. And I just want to show it off here on Flak. We're going to run it through just a trials real quick. And then we're going to run over to a true Malawan takedown, show you guys how it does over there. And then we'll swap over to Zane and I can show you how well it does even in true Guardian takedown on Zane specifically. For Moe's, I wouldn't really use this because it's not a splash weapon. And Amara's just makes guns pretty weak. She doesn't have a lot of gun boosting things. Uh, but obviously, if you use Ties at Bind, you're going to be able to kill anything with basically any weapon. So if you do want to use it on Amara, that is something you can also try. But I would usually stick to Flak or Zane for this weapon. But let's go ahead and jump right into this trial here and just see what happens. So for testing this weapon, I'm just on Frosted Flak right now. And something that I have noticed with this weapon is the hollow points are insane. So this is obviously a super accurate shotgun and you guys can hit some crazy damage numbers, especially with hollow point. You will hit hundreds and hundreds of millions very consistently. Um, I personally have really liked the normal damage versions of the Feebert better than any of the elementals. It can come as any element, um, but the normal damage have been my personal favorite on both Flak and Zane. So if you guys want to try those out, uh, I would definitely try a normal damage. But you can see how hard it is hitting. We're hitting uh, one shots on basically all of these enemies for the most part when I can actually hit them. But yeah, uh, this thing hits pretty darn hard for just normal base mayhem 10 but let's go ahead and jump over to true malawan takedown and see how it does over there all right so we made it over here to true malawan takedown and we're just gonna see how this weapon can do even in here and on these turret guards we can just three tap them and it's uh it's a little gross and this is just a normal damage urad version of the weapon otherwise we have the exact same setup that we were uh running with uh the trials but otherwise as long as you're hitting your crits you can do some ridiculous damage and like i was saying the hollow points get to some disgusting values uh so this is definitely a crit focused weapon if you guys aren't hitting your crits it's not going to work super super well for you but for the most part as just another weapon you guys can be using uh if you want to change it up a little bit this is definitely a very solid option now it's definitely not going to change the end game significantly it's not like a hellwalker um it actually has pretty much the same damage value per pellet as a hellwalker but obviously the hellwalker uh gets 10 and this only has two so uh it's not quite the exact same but this is definitely a very solid option but otherwise we're gonna go ahead and jump over to zane here in a moment and i'll show you guys this weapon in true guardian takedown all right so we just made it to the guardian takedown on basically our flash free zane build and i just want to show you guys how well this weapon can actually do you can be killing these mobs in uh just a couple shots now like i said it is a little dependent on hitting crits if you're not hitting crits you're not going to be doing uh that much damage with this weapon it's definitely focused on that but uh, if you can manage to do that you guys are going to be hitting really really hard and like i said the hollow points on here are pretty nuts especially when you combine it with radiation uh this version is just a normal damage with uh next to mags radiation on there uh that's usually one of my favorite uh mobbing combos but yeah it uh it's a little gross how well this thing can do for just being a fever uh this is definitely not like the second coming 
of the Hellwalker, but it is something else you guys can be using if you choose to do so. Uh, especially if you play Flak or Zane. And during this whole Zane test here, I haven't even been stacking up Commitment very high, which is obviously his uh, really, really good skill that can make basically anything work. So this is just another option you guys can have on Zane. And I thought I'd just show it off because I really do like to use uh, non-meta weapons, and it's always really nice to use something else that's a little bit different. Now, if you guys do plan on trying the Guardian takedown with this weapon, definitely bring a cut purse. It's not the most ammo efficient weapon of all time, but it definitely does the job. But yeah, guys, that's basically the Fever in a nutshell. If you guys are playing Flak or Zane, this weapon is definitely gonna work pretty darn well for you, as long as you don't take it into like Guardian takedown on basically anybody except for Zane. Uh, it's not meant to be just the greatest gun of all time. I just like to show off these different weapons. If you guys do want to see more of these like underrated weapons, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I do like showing some of these things off. We basically have a whole Zane build that we're kind of working on right now that is uh, dedicated to these off meta weapons just so you guys can see how ridiculous Zane is and also just some other stuff you guys can be using. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up on it to let me know. It really helps me out. If you guys want to see more Borderlands content, make sure you are subscribed. Also, feel free to check us out over on Twitch. We stream basically every single night and we mess around with stupid things like this Zane that we're working on. But I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.